today, guys. All right. So um, just thought we'd take you through this build that we've just finished. This is a Crusader uh, Musketeer. It's come from factory with a um, quite a good basis of a system inbuilt into the van. So essentially, um, most often anyway, vans that we have anything to do with that might have an off-grid and off-grid system built into the van um, usually have a significant amount of limitations because of the choice of product that might have been used. For example, um, you might have, for example, one of the all-in-one systems from, you know, Projector or BM Pro or something like that, and you've got maximum charge rate of 30 amps an hour no matter which source you're taking it in from, plus a massive battery, 400 amp hour battery. With this system in this van, these guys actually have um, a pretty good basis of a, of a decent system to begin with. So they, they actually have a pre-wired Enerdrive um, board underneath their bed, and it came with 400 amp hour of Enerdrive BTEC batteries and a 2600 watt inverter. So... To begin with, they've already got the bones of a really good system. They had four 170 watt panels on the roof, uh, so 680 amp, uh, sorry, 680 watts of solar on the roof. Um, and as we talk about all the time, you know, four 170 watt panels for 400 amp hour of battery and a, and a 2600 watt inverter, it's, you know you're never really going to be able to get the recharge back in that you need to your batteries. Even with a good quality system like this, it's just not enough solar for proper off-grid use. So um, one of the biggest issues these guys had was that solar recharge. They would spend time off-grid. They would use their appliances. They're not heavy consumers. They don't run their air conditioner off-grid all those sort of things, they, they just run kitchen appliances. But what they found was that they were progressively depleting their battery over time, even in good sun. And that's just purely because they're not getting enough solar recharge in. So the second issue that they really weren't happy with was the level of information that they were getting from their system. So they had um, just an EPRO battery monitor which gives you state of charge, it gives you your overalls, total in or out, um, time flat, gives you battery voltage. It's a really high quality battery monitor, but it doesn't give you the level of information that maybe you might want from your battery monitoring package. So it doesn't tell you how much solar is specifically coming in, how much charge you're getting in from your portable panels, how much load you're using, how much your fridge is drawing, all that sort of stuff. Some people don't want that, some people do. So these guys wanted to be able to know how much they were getting out of their system um, and how much they were putting in to be able to then determine, you know, whether they needed to move their van out of the out and further into the sun or whether they wanted, you know, need to get their portable blanket put out or something like that. So they just wanted a little bit more information. So basically with this package, all we've done is added. We've taken out the EPRO, we've put Cymarine in. Um, we've left the existing Enerdrive board underneath the bed and we've added to it. We've left the existing 170 watt solar panels on the roof, but what we've done, part of the, when part of the uh, inspection process was to look at how everything was cabled because one of the things that we were getting told from the owner was that they weren't... Well, they were maxing out at about 25 amps, which is not quite right in terms of the amount of charge they should be getting in full sun from those four panels. So we had a bit of a look, and what I actually found was that the cabling to the roof was probably a little insufficient. So we've recabled the whole lot, plus we've added another 800 watts of solar. Now, they've got 1,480 watts of solar on the roof. Bear in mind, though, that this is a 23-foot caravan. So significant amount of roof space on up there. We've probably got more space up there. We can add some solar to if we need to, but we've added four 200 watt panels um, to another 45 amp um, TriStar. And that's now all cabled up through 
the sign marine system so that they can actually monitor individually what's going on with all of their uh, all of their flows. So that gives them that gives them the ability now to say, okay, we we know that half our van's in sun or it's half it's not or you know something like that, and they can also see very quickly where they're at in terms of their usage, where they're at in terms of their storage. We've also, with this van, we've taken out the tank monitoring and we've put in tank monitoring through Cymarine. Uh, so that now is obviously all of their uh, freshwater tanks underneath the van that they can now monitor through Cymarine. So Cymarine is obviously quite flexible in that sense. So I guess to round out the story, Sometimes we don't need to throw the baby out with the bathwater with these systems, but it does depend on what's already in, installed into the van. Some of the systems that come with the vans are just not suitable for doing large off-grid systems with because they are really like a choke. They just limit the amount of charge you can get from your individual sources. Um, some vans, can't like this one, has come with a really good basis of a system. So we're quite happy to work with that, add to it, recable a few things to make Cymarine work, add solar panels, and that gives the uh, that gives the owner a really usable system. So 1,480 watts of solar, you know, potentially you're gonna get 80 amps of recharge in, um, in good sun. All right, so just to round things out, it would have definitely worked out more cost effective if this van came with a very basic package straight from factory and we did all of this work post delivery. Um, you also end up with a, you know, you end up with a fully thought out system as well. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind for future reference. If you are looking at buying a new van and there's an off-grid package that might come with a van, really drill down or maybe go and speak to an off-grid specialist prior to actually signing on the dotted line for that particular off-grid package from that particular van manufacturer because all of the time, 99% of the time, they're insufficient. There's deficiencies somewhere. They don't quite work as you think. They might not have enough battery or they might be the wrong type of battery or they might not have enough solar or the cabling to the roof might not be sufficient. There's there's all sorts of things we come across that, in our opinion, are always done better by, an, by a specialist. Um, all right, so let's just quickly go down and have a bit of a look at the system. So as discussed, the system came, as you can see here, so 45 amp TriStar, 40 amp and a drive DC DC and a 60 amp AC charger. Um, we've added in another 45 amp TriStar, uh, Cymarine monitoring for isolation and fusing as per the standard for the solar. And the rest of the equipment was already here. So two 400, two 200 amp hour batteries were already here. And that's why we haven't had to enclose and vent them because that was already installed from factory. So anyway, that's, that's this van, um, bit of background to it, how we've gone about working through the scenario and giving a solution to the owner. Cheers guys. We'll see you next time.